In this video, we're going to discuss how you can bulk import different accounts, maybe from a domain controller or from your Windows domain or Linux accounts. In the previous video, we saw how you can manually add individual accounts. Now you can imagine if you have like 500 or different several hundreds or even thousands of accounts, whether if it's local admin, system admin, domain admin, and what have you. And manually adding them would be like an absolute nightmare. CyberArk by default provides you some kind of a feature that you can continuously onboard newly added accounts without having you to manually touch anything and automatically onboard them in the CyberArk vault. In this video, we're going to discuss how you can automatically import Windows domain based accounts, whether it can be domain admin accounts, local admin accounts, or any sensitive accounts on your domain. To get started, we need one account which is privileged in nature in order to read through the OU, identify which accounts are sensitive, which accounts are normal, and only onboard the select few accounts. So to get started, what we'll do here is we'll navigate into accounts first. We'll add an account, which is going to be our domain administrator. So I'll select Windows as my system type. I'm going to store this in an expertise Windows domain account because it's a domain admin account. It's going to sit in my Nexpertise IT Windows admin safe. And the address of this is going to be ca-lab, oops, lab.local, which is my domain controller. Username is going to be administrator. Password is going to be the password that I make use of this. Confirm the password. Customize account name. Yes, because I want to have a custom name and say next expertise. Super admin. Spure. Super admin. I'm going to leave the additional properties to the default. Allow automatic password management. Yep add and this is added and the next step for us is to go to the accounts view and click on pending and discovery so we're going to visit pending accounts later so we're going to click on discovery management i have two options so one is for linux or unix discovery and the second one is for windows discovery so we'll start with Windows first. Domain is going to be ca-lab.local. And I need one account which is privileged in nature so that it can connect to my AD, go through my OUs, understand the different structures, the different groups, and identify which users are privileged accounts and which users are normal accounts. That is very, very important. So I have two options out here to specify that account. I can either select it from the vault and I can specify. Uh, as a recommended practice, it is recommended to select from the vault so that I don't type in the password. So that's the whole goal, right? Minimize or get rid of uh, providing the raw passwords to, to the users. So we'll select the newly added account that we just added which is going to be my administrator. I'm going to select this account and come down. I'm going to select all your OUs. If you wanted to select a specific OUs that you wanted to discover, you can do that, but it is recommended to scan all OUs just to make sure you know all your different structures. Which CPM to use? Secure wire CPM01 this because this guy is disconnected. So I'll select this one. The CPM should be able to reach to your AD. Do I want this to run recurring? Yes. Let's run this on every Sunday so that in your production environment, if you have newly added accounts, newly added systems, 
you'd be able to periodically scan this automatically and you'll have the privilege or power to onboard these accounts whenever you need. However, in our case, um, instead of running this recurring, we just run it one time to get hold of the accounts that we need. In the production environment, you may want to set this up on a recurring basis so that automatically you can discover the accounts and onboard them later. So I'll uncheck this and go to one time and make sure you select this and hit done. The state is pending because it is currently running as you can see here. So since we set this one time, let's go ahead and add another discovery scan to scan the same thing that would be enabled on a recurring basis. So see it at ca lab dot local. Same thing. We're going to select the account from the vault. We're going to select all OUs, select the CPM scanner and every Sunday at 2 a.m. in the morning, this would kick in. Hit done. Looks good. All right, so the next one is created. Instead of one time, this is now recurring and the state is not running at the moment because it would kick in on 27th, which is Sunday, which is tomorrow at 2 a.m., right? So tomorrow it would kick and it would be recurring on weekly basis. This would get in all the accounts and it would put them in the pending state under here. So once you have the pending accounts, you can select which one you want to onboard and you can get them in Cyberarch Vault. So let's complete this, which is currently running. And once it discovers the account, we'll see how you can onboard them and get them in Cyberarch Vault. Another key thing to note here is when you set up discoveries like these, you need to make sure that the CPM scanner service is running. We saw that in the installation in the previous videos. So let's hop on to our CPM and make sure the services for CPM are currently running. So currently I'm on my CPM and I'll navigate into services. So my core service, which is CyberArk password manager is running, but my CyberArk manager scanner is currently not running. So I'll click start and make sure this is running. All right, there you go. The start time is the startup type is automatic, which should be every time this reboots, uh, it should start, right? So I'll hit refresh and try to see what's running. Oh, it's running. It took a while. Hit refresh again and try to see what's going. Yep, it is going. So it's at 33%. Hit refresh again. Try to see. Yep, that is completed. Uh, it's expected to see some kind of an error here. So we'll see what that is. Can open the discovery log and try to see what's going on here. So discovery started and let's maximize this. And there are some exceptions here called test admin reason. There was a problem adding this account because it's already added. Uh, any other thing? So no critical errors here. So close this out and now go to pending accounts, which is a panel in which it would display us the different accounts, the different groups and the different options that we get. So let's see in more details. 
I have the different usernames out here that are pulled directly from my domain controller. I also have the addresses. These are all FQDNs, which is good. The different platforms that it identifies on its own, depending on the privileges and the OU information. The password age, that is how many days it has passed that the last password was changed. Dependencies, which is very important here because if you have any account that has a dependency which is listed on uh, a, a remote machine uh, it would list out here what this would be is let's say a service account that is created and that service account is tied to let's say a database connection if we change the password of the service account the database connection will fail so we need to inform cyberarch saying that if there is a service account that is there on my domain, when you onboard it, make sure you change the password and make an association with the database connection. It can be another account. Let's say, for example, like an API account that I'm managing on CyberArk. At the same time, I have a config file that uses that account. So I need to make sure CyberArk changes that as well. At the moment, what I need here is that I need to identify only the privileged groups or the privileged accounts. For example, I don't want to onboard any groups. I want to in onboard all the accounts. So if you see here, some of the accounts are non-privileged. Some of them are privileged. So guest, password manager, user, these accounts, I don't want to uh, onboard because it doesn't make sense for us to onboard non-privileged accounts. We only need to onboard privileged accounts. So I'll click on privileged here as a filter, hit apply so that I can only see privileged accounts. I have very few. The first one is the administrator on the CPM. So this is a local server account. Next one is PSM PVWA. Notice that vault is not discovered because vault we don't manage it right so we'll select these three as the account notice they have to be similar in order to bulk import them so since these are all local server accounts which are privileged i'm going to say onboard accounts i'm going to select all these three in bulk i'm going to store this in the expertise it windows admin safe right so whenever you onboard accounts after discovery they need to be similar in nature they need to be stored in the same safe if you select this separate accounts let's say um, a windows domain admin account and a server local admin account they may not work so you need to select only the similar ones in a group and onboard them in phases so the platform for these would be server since they are server local accounts we are going to use expertise windows server local accounts by default it has highlighted them and placed them right at the top because these are active these platforms are active the below ones are active as well but it would not show us all the inactive ones so it only shows us our expertise so that's the beauty of having a clean set of platforms Otherwise, we would just get a big jargon of list of the different platforms. So we'll select the expertise Windows Server's local account. Now I have two options here. Do I want to select a default password here or not? Since I don't have any reconcile account set up, what I'll do here is I'll select the default local password. This can be anything. So not to worry here and we'll see how you can reconcile them using the reconcile account. All right. So I'll just uh, enter some random password here and click on onboard to onboard them. You can see the progress here. So the first one is done. Second one and the third one and done. Now this guy is a group. Do I want to uh, onboard this and manage through CyberArk? No, 
group management, I'm going to only do it in the domain controller. Since I didn't have many accounts out here to onboard them, but we did onboard all of the local admin accounts, right? And we saw the general procedure, how you can actually do this and have discovery schedules set up. So if I navigate to my accounts view, I'll be able to see all of those accounts. So I have my CPM local admin account. Uh, I have my domain admin account, which I manually added. So I have the local admin for PSM. I have the local admin for PVWA. Subsequently, we are gonna reconcile all these accounts and get them to a standard password. All of that great stuff in the next videos. So stay tuned and see you in the next ones.